All right. In this video, we're going to conduct some industry analysis, taking a quantitative approach by estimating this model here. So we're going to estimate a linear model where on the left-hand side of the equation we have uh, the industry sector ETF price. We're going to take the natural log of that. And on the right-hand side, uh, the natural log of, of the spider market index, SPY, so the S&P 500 ETF. Okay, And the idea here is, is we're going to obtain this slope coefficient, and this slope coefficient is going to provide us the sensitivity of the industry price to changes in the market price. Okay, The slope coefficient is a measure of elasticity, and, and we talked about that in the last video. Okay, So... Uh, Let's uh, let's see here. Let's go to uh, words. So this is Wharton Research Data Services. I'm logged in here. Uh, I'm going to go to the Center for Research and Security Prices, and I'm going to grab monthly. I'm going to grab monthly data here. Let's see through 2019. Let's grab uh, 2010, January of 2010 through December of 2019. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab XLV. Okay, XLV is going to be the healthcare uh, sector ETF, the spider uh, ETF. And SPY is going to give me the uh, S&P 500 spider ETF. Okay, so I'm just going to grab these two securities here. And let's see, I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, let me grab the ticker symbol. And all I really need is the stock price. So again, what this is going to do, it's going to grab historical stock prices from January 2010 to December 2019 at the monthly level for these two particular securities. I'm going to pull that into an Excel spreadsheet and submit my query. Now, it's going to take a second here. Uh, maybe I should have done this before offline. Otherwise, I'm going to test your patience. It shouldn't be long. I See, there you go. Let me download this. Okay, what we have here, <clears throat> this is the permanent number. This is a permno. This is the stock identifier in CRISP. We don't need that. Uh, here's the date. So this first date is going to be January 29th, 2010, February 26th, 2010. That is the last trading day of each month four ticker symbol SPY that's the S&P 500 spider ETF and this is the price of SPY uh, let me keep scrolling down here and you'll find about halfway down the halfway down the spreadsheet here I start with XLV in January 2010 there's the price of XLV let me co uh, cut this paste it here okay uh, let's do something here let's I don't really need this ticker symbol so I'm going to delete that let me insert a row and this first row was going to be the SPY price and this row is going to be XLV price I don't need these two columns either in fact let me move those columns around so what we have here now <clears throat> are the monthly stock prices to the uh, the healthcare spider sector ETF and SPY if I scroll down you can see that that data goes from December 2010 I'm sorry from January 2010 to December 2019 okay so I got my data in a workable format Recall, I'm going to estimate this this model here. I have to take the natural log of both the XLV price and the natural log of SPY. That's not hard to do in Excel. I'm going to say equals natural log of that cell B2. Copy that down for the rest of the data. And I'm going to take the natural log of SPY.
copy that down. Okay. So now I have the natural log of XLV and the natural log of SPY. I'm ready to run my regression. Again, let me make sure that copied all the way to where it needs to go here. Good. And then I just run a regression. Again, the slope coefficient on the regression is going to give me an elasticity. And that elasticity That elasticity is going to be the sensitivity. Here, let's do this. The sensitivity of the healthcare sector ETF price to changes in the SPY. So I'm going to uh, highlight column D, which is going to be my dependent variable. Let me also highlight column E, my independent variable. When I run this regression, there you have it. So this is my alpha, this is my beta. Again, that's my slope coefficient. Notice that the coefficient is 1.23 with a t-stat of 63.70, suggesting that, uh, first of all, this healthcare sector ETF is very elastic to the, uh, to the SPY. Uh, now this is important, okay? So, so let me talk about the implications. So let's say this is XLV, uh, let's say we did this for a couple of other stocks. Uh, XLF is the uh, financial uh, spider sector ETF. Um, I can't remember the technology ETF, XL, I think it's K technology. And let's say we had the following, 1.230148 is the elasticity of the healthcare sector to the market, uh, to the SPY. Let's say financials is 0 0.832, 835, whatever. I'm just making up numbers here. And let's say the technology is 1.4854, whatever. Okay. So here are my elasticities, my industry elasticities for healthcare, for financials, and for tech. Now recall, in an earlier video, we, we forecasted the macro economy and we came up with the consensus that over the next quarter, the macro economy was going to uh, increase. Uh, the GDP growth rate was going to be about 1% over the next quarter. That was our forecast. Again, that was just uh, 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 an example. But let's say that we're very bullish on what's going to happen in the macro economy. To the extent that the macro economy is going to increase, then we anticipate the SPY, that SPY is also going to increase. And now we can compare industry elasticities to one another. Here we see that the financials elasticity is going to be less than the healthcare elasticity. However, we find that the technology elasticity is going to be greater than both. And if we're bullish about the macro economy, and then, then we're going to want to go and, and find stocks in the technology industry. Why? Because the technology industry uh, is very sensitive to changes in the market price, and we anticipate that the market price is going to improve given our forecast in GDP. Okay. Uh, don't, don't forget, this quantitative analysis must be combined with our qualitative analysis where we analyze what type of industries where they are on this industry life cycle like we mentioned in a previous video technology is probably in the startup or the consolidation stage of the industry life cycle uh, financials are probably in slowing or maybe even minimal growth mature they're certainly mature as are healthcare companies although uh, healthcare companies uh, with what's going on uh, policy wise uh, that may that may change right so so anyway we see like Amazon and JP Morgan and, and uh, Berkshire Hathaway getting involved in healthcare somehow uh, that that might change as well but but understand that the qualitative analysis that we we conduct examining what stage of the industry life cycle a particular industry is in as well as our quantitative analysis that captures the elasticities or the sensitivities of each industry to changes in the market price. I think this gives us an overall view of uh, what industries we feel are going to perform well during bullish periods and what industries are going to perform poorly during bearish periods.